In a recent report, Health Minister Moses Jabaptiste updated the House of Assembly on critical developments at the Millennium Heights Medical Complex. The secondary care hospital will be commissioned, repurposing the former respiratory hospital into a multi-purpose facility with an isolation unit and ICUs. In the case of the secondary care hospital, Mr. Speaker, the following buildings and facilities have been transferred to the board of the Millennium Heights Medical Complex. The chest wing, 12 beds. Ward 9, 12 beds. Ward 5, 7 beds. The old dietitian office, 4 beds. Gynecology ward, 8 beds. 3 ICU beds. 2 operating theaters. Pediatrics ward. An old nursing home kitchen operations, an x-ray department, a, pot a potential, when you add up all of these beds, or bed space, a potential 46 additional beds. According to Baptiste, this transfer of select inpatient services from the OKEU hospital and expansion of bed capacity will improve efficiency. The development of the Millennium Heights Medical Complex Secondary Care Hospital will complement services currently provided at the OKEU Hospital. These are the additional beds will A, expand inpatient bed capacity for the Millennium Heights Medical Complex, B, improve efficiencies and flow of patients at the Accident and Emergency Department at the OKEU. Increase in beds will lead to the transfer of a select set of inpatient services from the OKEU, which includes A, long-term rehabilitative services for patients with stroke and orthopedic injuries, and B, patients requiring palliative, palliative care. The facility will provide dedicated beds for isolation for an isolation unit with ICUs for patients with infectious diseases. So in addition to having this facility for additional beds, we are providing dedicated beds for an isolation unit in case we have, God forbid, another COVID-like situation with ICUs for patients with infectious diseases. The minister who says the institutional framework has been put in place noted that the increase in beds will improve the flow of patients at the accident and emergency department at the OKEU, which has experienced overcrowding. Phase 1 of the secondary care hospital is due to be commissioned on Tuesday of next week. Tuesday, December 19th, Mr. Speaker. So we are going to commission it. This phase will see the transfer of all patients currently on the chest wing to the ward and the commissioning of, a new, of new pharmacy operations. Other services that will support clinical operations include food services, x-ray, and lab services. The OKEU hospital will provide visiting physiotherapy and psychosocial services as required. As a result of consultations with staff and the bargaining agents, 96 staff have moved on from the former respiratory hospital and have been given employment contracts with the Millennium Heights Medical Complex. And I want to thank the staff and the union because we heard a lot, even in this parliament, about what the staff will do, what they will not do, they will not go, they will not. But we remain very peaceful and quiet and spoke to them. And while there may still be some issues, 96 staff have been moved. The oxygen generating plant will also be commissioned on Friday, December 15th at a cost of $129,851 with the help of the Maria Holder Trust out of Barbados. Additionally, the OKEU laundry facility initiated in 2015-2016 will become operational in January 2024 after addressing financial challenges. Minister Baptiste assured the government will utilize the 2.5% health and security levy to support these critical developments. He thanked the board's staff and Universal Health Coverage team for their hard work in improving St. Lucia's health care infrastructure.